Hello guys, it's a new day. Trust you all doing great. Today's tutorial we are going to we are still on logo design and we are going to do a S a Vin S logo today. I'm going to leave the link in the uh, video description below to download the fonts that we are going to use for today. After you download it, extract your fonts on desktop. If you are new and you don't know how to install a font, just uh, watch this simple and quick um, trial that I'm going to do. So when extract your font to your desktop, this is how it's gonna be. Select these two, the top two, and copy them. Right click, then copy. Or you can hold Ctrl C to copy. After that, click on your Windows menu or your Start menu. Then type Control Control Panel right here. Click on Control Panel. In your view by, click on the category and change to large icons. Click on large icons. And you are going to see fonts right here. We have fonts, so click on your font. Right click on an empty uh, place on the font folder, then click on paste right here. Then we paste our font successfully. I've already done mine, so yours will go just like that. It will load and boom, you got it. So let's close, open your Photoshop. And create a new layer as we normally do. Hold Control N or click on your file and click on New. Then type the width to 300 pixels and the height to sorry 3,000 pixels for the width and 3,000 pixels for the height. So our image size is 25.7 megabytes. So, okay. Let's rename to PS logo. Then okay. So we got our sheet right here. Click on your Click right here. On your fill or adjustment layer click there and click on gradients click on gradients gradient overlay for the style change to radial and reverse it and increase your scale to 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 three to seven percent increase your skill to three to seven percent that's three hundred and twenty seven percent then press on OK so click on your horizontal type two or your test two T right here click there and click to start typing so type VS Hold your control plus A to select R and type your font. Type the font that we are going to use. Et Ethnocentric. Enter. You got it right here. So control enter to accept the layer that we just created. So V to select a move to control T. To select your free transform and hold the edge and drag to the top by holding shift add shift to it and drag it at the top or the click on the down drag it down and it's cool now so enter to accept it so we have v vs uh, as our test so right click on the BS and click on 
restrict um, type restrict type click there so that we got it as an image so select your um, rectangle marquee select the vein layer control J control J as we all know control J will just copy layer for you control J to get our vein select the V S again select the S and hold control J or you can right click on it and click on lay, layer the copy so that we got the S and the V so we can now disable or delete our V S layer right here by dragging to the delete here and boom it's gone so we have V and S right here so double click on the layer one and rename to V and double click on the layer 2 and rename to S enter so increase your page or zoom your work and select whilst your rectangular marquee is selected drag through to select and get C right here so select the layers uh, s hold your control j to copy this selected file so control j then we copy it we are not actually going to use this one so let's undo our work right click on it and click layer the cut layer the cut click on layer the cut right here click on the cut to cut it up so if we turn our eyeball off it's gone if we turn it on it's back so double let's rename this one and call it c enter so double click on c and click on the color overlay click on color overlay Click on color overlay right here. Color overlay. Then change the color to red. Drag from here to the top. Then select the corner right here to get your red color. So when you're done, press OK. Then OK. Boom. We got a C as colored color red. So select to move to. Once your C is selected, move the C by holding Shift key right here. Move the C layer upward. So now we have our C right here so click on the s and drag your s to right here leave leave a gap so that try, try and leave a gap so select your rectangular shape your triangular shape click on triangular shape and quickly draw a shape right here quickly draw a simple shape right here whilst your vein is selected hold control plus and click on the rectangular one layer click right here to select it and whilst your vein layer is selected press on delete on your keyboard and now we can delete this layer we can delete our hold control d to deselect so now we can delete our rectangular layer by dragging down here or you can just press on your delete key to delete it so now we have a low gap right here select the top the top thing sorry 
click on your um, rectangular marquee click there and select select at the top right here and select your layer V right click on it and click on layer V cut so that we got this one too so all your whilst your layer one is selected or the layer we just created hold control and press on it to get the selection click on select then go to modify and expand so you click select you go to modify then expand click on the expand and increase your expand to 12 percent just type 12 percent and okay you get you got this one so select your c layer select your c layer and press delete on your keyboard and it's well delete now we can deselect it so hold hold the control key again press on the c layer go to select again go go to modify and click on expand the same expand by 12 pixels that's cool press on ok then select your vein layer and delete so ctrl d to deselect so we have wall gapped in our works so quickly select your rectangular shape your triangular shape so click on the layer c because we want our new our rectangular layer to be at the top so quickly zoom your work increase drag to the top and draw draw a shape right here draw some quick shape okay. yes. ctrl t to adjust it to get the actual to get it in line let's accept it and now it's cool so control zero to go back control plus to increase it a little bit so we do same at the down here so let's increase a little bit so let's a uh, rectangular two then draw a shape right here Let's increase it a little bit to get that trash shape. Click on your move to use your arrow key to adjust it. And now it's cool. Now let's zoom back. So now we got our VS logo, but we are going to apply more effects on it to look more special so quickly double click on your rectangle your your a rectangular two double click on it and select let's increase let's bring it to blue and click somewhere right here I think it's cool. So for you, you can just type this. Just, just you can just type these figures. You can just type these figures to get the actual the actual color that we, we are using. So you can just type six four seven DBC to get the actual size. Sorry, the actual color. When done, then just press on OK to accept it. 
you scroll to the edge tool you double click you click on your color overlay click on the color and select the same background color just click on it and it's selected okay okay go to your C double click on C go to your color overlay select the color red and pick the background color right here and it's cool so press on ok ok we we don't we, we, we want to change this color so let's select our C and select our rectangular marquee quickly select this area right click on it and click on layer the cut to cut it so let's color this shape to red so double click double click on layer 2 click on color overlay change the color to red boom okay okay double click on the v click on color overlay change your color to red okay pick your rectangular one double click on it change your color to red or you can just click on the red right here to pick the actual color okay let's accept it double click on layer one that's it select color overlay red to school so now we have our vc sorry our vs logo right here our vs so let's quickly select our horizontal type 2 click on your horizontal type 2 then type vector stop vector stop control enter to accept it select your move to hold control t and increase it a little bit enter to accept it now drag it at the top a little bit click there again and type type let's leave it this way so let's drag the vector stock at the top click on your rectangular to scroll down out your shifts and click on the s logo out control g to group it and now we have our vs as one so quickly click on your fx click on your drop shadow and for the blend mode select normal and increase your size a little bit to let's say 15% is cool distance distance 10% the opacity should be 100% And your angle should be 120 degrees so let's select our inner glow change the blend mode to normal increase our size a little bit then it's cool select our outer glow change the color to black okay the opacity should be 100 percent blend mode change no change normal and increase the size a little bit to 10 percent as well and press on ok to accept it so now hold control plus t sorry control then click on the vector stock control a to select all the desktop select your move to and click center 
click on your vertical center control D to deselect and now we have our vector stock logo right here well centered so guys this for today's logo today's logo is just as simple as ABCD so let's quickly save our work click on file save us or save VS logo that's the name right here we've already changed it that's why it's it gives us it's giving us the direct name so VS logo let's save it in PSD select your desktop and save right here okay go back there again save us click on save us it's still loading click on save us your file click on file save us then for the format change to jpeg and now save your logo okay it's saving 99 percent boom it done so we can just quickly cross check our logo let's open it and now we have our s s v s logo neatly done back tax stock all right guys that's all for today thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video video enjoy your day and have a nice day bye, -bye.